Welcome to this special session of online courses in lecture number 8. I am the Nivedita Lal from ITM Gida, Gorakhpur from the Department of Applied Sciences and Humanities. Is this introduction correct? No, I should not have said I am the Nivedita Lal, I need to say I am Nivedita Lal. These small things in English language, they make a lot of nuisance if we are not careful about its implementation. So, today's topic is article, article to clear, to give you a clear understanding about the concept, types and usage of articles. What is an article? Define article, naturally the first thing is definition. An article is a word that is used with a noun to indicate the type of reference being made by any noun. How do we use articles? We use articles in certain ways. It is used with countable nouns such as chair, dog, cat, pencil, bottle, etc. All of them are countable, we can count them. Articles are also used with two type with various other factors which we will be very soon scrutinizing. There are actually two kinds of articles. We have three words as articles, a, an and the. So, one section will be under the category of definite article and the other section will be as indefinite article. So, what is a definite article? T H E the, the is called definite article. It is used for very specific nouns to symbolize a special person commodity issue, not just any, like not just any pencil, but the yellow pencil. If we say I write with a pencil, it can be any person, but when I say I write with the yellow pencil, it is specified the there is a particular pencil with which I am writing. The blue dog, the black cat, the chair, all these words they denote a special. The blue dog is a very rare animal. The black cat is not a good omen. The chair on which I sit daily is very comfortable. So, here in all these three sentences, I have to specify, I wanted to specify a particular thing. So, I have used the. So, definite article the denotes a particular or something special. Besides, this definite article can be used with singular objects as well like the purple scarf, like the dogs which loiter around on the roads. So, they are being used with singular objects here. Now, let us switch over to indefinite article. So, when we have talked about the, the definite article, two aspects are left under the category of indefinite article, a and an. A is used before nouns that begin with a consonant, an is used before nouns that begin with a vowel. 
indefinite articles are used for more general vague nouns like hand me a pencil. Now, handing of that pencil has nothing particular about it. It can be any pencil which required to be handed to me. An elephant, a dog, a chair, an apple. These are used only with singular objects. Now, what and where do we use a and an? That is also important because when to use a and when to use an, uh, most of us at one point or the other we get confused. We should also use them when first mentioning something like a butterfly landed on my dog's nose, the butterfly was pink. This sentence has a and the both and we have to be careful where to use a, where to use the. Now, we do not use indefinite articles in front of nouns, in front of we can say in front of non countable nouns, these include abstract concepts such as happiness, harmony, sadness, irony, justice, etcetera. The definite article can be used if indicating the instance in which it occurred. Let us take one example, the sadness she felt at his passing away cannot be explained in words, the sadness. Now, we do not use indefinite articles with nouns that are described in quantities such as liquid or large amount of small solids such as beans, sand, dirt, etcetera. We can however, use the definite article when it comes to the brown dirt, the cold water because here it has been termed as special. We can use it here, but not before the names, not before the pronouns and not at all before the proper nouns. When being general, I like water, it can be any water or all water. When I say cats are small, they can be any cats, they can be any animal. There are some exceptional cases when we go for the usage of these articles. Some noun count some uh, non countable nouns can take the indefinite article. Examples, we came to an understanding. If the name of a location is descriptive and contains a countable noun, then always use the definite article. Example, the United States of America, the University of Houston Clear Lake, the writing center, etcetera. If a name is being described as though it is a countable noun, it can take the definite article. Example, the clear lake that I saw has lots of good restaurants instead of the place we have used it. You are not behaving like the person that I know instead of the person. Now, besides this, we should have a very clear concept about the usage of a and an. An is used when we have to use any noun starting with vowel a, e, i, o, u. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, an honest man, etcetera. But 
there are some exceptions also in this context. Now, my suggestion to you is that let us not go for exceptional cases because at the initial level first of all be uh, let us try to understand the small common things which help us in our daily usage. So, how to decide in your writing when to use these articles? There are simple steps I am going to suggest you. First of all, look at your noun. Is it countable or non-countable? Let us take an example. I want to describe a cat. Here, cat is a countable noun, hence a cat. Next, we should decide if it is the first time something has been mentioned. If it is, use the indefinite article. Are you being specific about the noun or general? Example can be, yes, I am talking about a specific cat. If you are describing a sp specific noun, use the definite article. If you are being more vague, use the indefinite article. Let us see the example. I have a black cat. The cat chased the grey mouse. Another example with indefinite article can be, I saw a cat chase a mouse today. So, here you mark the difference. A and the, three simple terms, but it is very, very important that before using them, we are alert where and how to use it. That will help you in making your English language perfect. Thank you.